What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Wes from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections to spot our differences. Acronym Ask Don. I have a question for y'all. Y'all know I have my questions and I ask my questions and I go off on these videos. A lot of y'all, like, there's like over 50 something comments on the ship bottoms be treated like a king. I still stand by that. I didn't read all of the comments because a lot of y'all were going off or whatever the case may be. But what I will ask this particular time is is it, is it, is this, is it, is it, I can't get it out. Is it okay for your friend to date your ex? Is it okay for your friend to date one of your boo things that you had a little crushy crush on? Is it okay for your friend to go there? Is he or she your friend if they freaking do go there? That is the question of the day. And I need y'all to ask die with me, goddammit, because I live in Orlando, Florida now. And Orlando, Florida, my scene... The gay scene is small as shit, okay? Everybody who's their mamas, who's their mamas, mamas, who's their mamas, 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 and sisters and brothers-in-laws and, and the roaches in their motherfucking kitchen all know each other, okay? And the word exclusivity does not exist. It does not flow around your nostrils. You can't smell that at all living here in Orlando, Florida. I have never in all of my life on this earth have witnessed or experienced situations that have allowed me to go crazy like the way that I have since I've been here. And so because I am known, so to speak, on the online front of things, um, it makes things a little bit more difficult for me to get to know someone because everyone always thinks that they know you because they watched a video. So I have to deal with that plus dealing with people's views and perspectives and the way that they perceive things to be. And then just dealing with everyone else knowing each other. So it's been quite difficult. Let's just say that, all right? It's been quite fucking difficult <laughs> to to just enjoy, to just be, to just live, okay? Um, recently, I found out that someone that I was at one point interested in and we had a negative departure from each other, that person seems to know everybody that I've gotten to know and have befriended. And that person seems to always be around now. And it's aggravating because they're infiltrating my little circle that I'm trying to create with myself. But in me thinking about this concept of someone knowing who I know and them being cool, people just start popping out of nowhere. And it's like, Oh, I know that person. Oh, you know that person? I know that person. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, you know me and that person. Oh, really? Say it ain't so. Yeah. And then they, but they mess with that person too. And oh my God, you know him too? And what the fuck? I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. And it's been very aggravating for me. And it's been very hard for me. But what comes out of that a lot is because since everyone is, knows each other and since this whole fucking town is small as shit, um, everyone has dealt with everyone who has dealt with everyone else, okay? And that's why you just can't go fucking around everyone because <laughs> you just never know when, you, <laughs> when your messy business is going to pop out at somebody's social function at their house party and you're talking to a new person, but they also know that person, that person knows that person, that person. That's why I've stopped getting to know people in Orlando, so to speak, okay? Especially on the whole, you know, freaky dicky thing. I, I, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I like the fact that my, my name does not have the ability to come up sexually 
with the world of Orlando. I like that. Now people can dream all they want and think that they can get it and would like to think that they have the ability to get it and would like to pass out lies and say that they've gotten it, but no, they haven't. And, and I like that a lot, you know? Um, but I recently spoke to a buddy of mine who says, oh, I know him. And I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we talked. <laughs> I'm like, oh really? And so, they were like, well, what happened between you two? And I'm, I don't, I don't like to dis, to uh, defame anyone. Um, but I will, you know, let my buddies know the truth about a situation that I was involved in. Now, if it had nothing to do with me, it's none of my business. I'm not going to speak on it. You, you go off and venture off if that's what you want to do, if that's who you want to be around or whatever, go ahead and do your, your thing because it had nothing to do with me. But if you're asking me, I'm going to tell you. And so in telling them, they said, hmm. Now I told this person, I was like, if you want to entertain that person, you can go ahead and entertain that person. I'm going to look at you differently, but you can go ahead and entertain that person. And they were like, no, I don't, I don't want to entertain that person. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. Now, do you think that it's okay for your friends to entertain your past people that you've been involved with. My answer to that is no. I don't feel that you are a friend. If you know that I like someone and that we have a little bit of history and um, there's a sexual past, especially, or a crushing past where we actually dealt with each other. Now, I can like somebody all day long, and if I've never approached them or never said anything to them, then that's my bad. I, I, I lucked out. But if I do have a remote history with this person, if you are my friend, you need to leave that person the fuck alone. And that's how I feel. I think it's very messy, nasty, and, and uh, unfriendlike for you to entertain someone that you know that I'm going with or that I've dealt with if you are indeed my friend. Now, if you're not my friend, have at it. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Um, but I don't know. And, and it's really proven to be a, a, a good thing for me to stand by that because of how everyone knows everyone here. And so... I don't know. It's it's just been it's just been really weird. Let me just say that it's just been weird. <laughs> like this past weekend, I went over a buddy of mine's uh, place. I went over his place, and someone that I just recently met was going up to my buddy's place, and I'm like, "Who do you know here?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, I know. I know such such." I, I, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, "Oh my god!" And then I recently went to a house party where someone that I really don't gel with anymore loves and knows everybody at the house party and I'm like wow like wow wow it's it's I don't know I just I don't know it's very ugh for me and so this person that I'm talking to now he doesn't understand why I care about who knows who and who knows what and I, I'm gonna tell y'all this is not that I necessarily care about who you know. If you know, if you've already dealt with people and you've met with people, that's fine. That has nothing to do with me. That's your past life. Okay. Uh, but in getting to know you, I don't want to bring you around my new quote unquote circle. And then they'd be like, Oh, I know him. Yeah. We fucked last month or, Oh, I know him. We did that. Like I, <laughs> I don't know my job, but I just, I would rather not know. That's just my thing. I would rather not just leave me out of it, okay? Just leave me out of it. I just, I don't know. I don't know, but what do y'all, like, how do y'all feel about that? Like, everybody knowing everybody and your friend or your so-said friend dealing with somebody that they obviously know that you've dealt with in the past. Do you think that that's cool? I don't. I really don't. So if you out there have a friend that knows that you were fucking around with Josh Josh, okay, or Amanda, and this motherfucker wants to go ahead and fuck around with Josh Josh and Amanda too because he has a crush on her or him or whatever the case may be, that motherfucker is not your friend and you need to kiss that bitch goodbye. Kiss him on both cheeks, goodbye. I mean, if they're clean. But y'all know what I'm saying. And you know, unfortunately, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people in my circle, but a couple of people in my circle disagree. They feel that, you know, you can't dictate 
who someone's soulmate is, but my rebuttal to that is there's over 7 billion people in this motherfucking world. If you want to find your soulmate, you have at least 10,000 of them bitches that are fluttering out there in the world for you to snatch up with a butterfly catcher, okay? With a butterfly net. Catch that motherfucker, okay? But you don't have to deal with Josh, Josh, and Amanda. Go find Clark, okay? Or go find Emily to fucking deal with. Someone that you know that I have not dealt with. You know, it just, it, it allows for catty, messy communication. He said, she said, who was better, who wasn't better. Do you miss me? Do you not? It's just too much. And so for that reason, you should be a friend and not mess around with your friend's leftovers. I'm Wesley from A Connection TV The Network. Definitely let me know what you think about this topic. Do you ask that or even if you don't, leave your comments below the video. Peace.